My sister used to always tell me to choose to be happy and enjoy the journey. I live by these words because I, one of the most difficult moments in my life was losing my sister to multiple sclerosis. When the medications no longer worked, she turned to more natural medicine. And I watched her regain some of her quality of life, although eventually she lost the battle. This ignited a passion in me to become a nurse practitioner so that I could incorporate natural medicine into my practice. In my quest for knowledge beyond school, I learned about the importance of gut health, and I wanted to stand up and shout it from the mountaintop, but I knew no one could hear me on the top of the mountain, so instead, <laughs> I share it with every single one of my patients. <laughs> Our gut is amazing. Our gut health is linked to every function in the body, digestion, immune function, bone health, heart health, hormones, blood sugars, and brain health, just to name a few. Our gut has its own nervous system, and it makes neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. Our gut gets inflamed from food that we eat and can cause issues with absorption of nutrient and minerals. Our gut has many functions and can affect overall health and can lead to disease if not managed properly. I'm going to give you five simple things I want you to do to help you optimize your gut health. Number one, let's go back to the beginning when our parents used to tell us to chew our food. Turns out they were right. We have teeth for a reason, and that is to chew our food. When we chew our food, we make digestive enzymes that go down into our stomach and help break down our food. This is the, well, the only part of digestion that we can control. I like people to imagine their poor little stomach down there, watching all this food coming in in huge pieces. You had one job, to chew the food. Unfortunately, in our American culture, we just grab food, shove it in our mouth as we're running out the door, never giving a second thought that what we're inhaling, if it's actually getting absorbed. When we chew our food, we make digestive enzymes that go down into our stomach. So you need to chew your food at least 20 to 30 times each bite. Yeah, 20 times with fruits and vegetables and 30 times with meat. Dinner is going to take a little bit longer than it used to. Number two, you know that big glass of water you drink with every meal? Not such a good idea. If we're doing a good job making our digestive enzymes, and then we get a big glass of water, what happens? Those digestive enzymes we just made get diluted. That decreases nutrients, which affects our overall health. So instead of drinking with each meal, drink an hour before and the hour after. You can take sips of water with your meals, just not a large amount. I was fascinated to see when me and my husband went on a trip to Italy that when they sit you down for dinner, they don't bring you water. You have to ask for water. This is true in many countries. Number three, what about sugar? Let's talk processed sugar. Processed sugar by now, everybody knows that you're not supposed to eat very much of it. But unless you get it straight from the sugar cane, chances are a lot of the sugars in your foods are processed. So I want to help you learn how to read labels to make your best decision about sugar. So when you're looking at the labels, there's two places you want to focus on. The total grams of sugar and where sugar lies on the ingredient list. So when you're looking at an item, you want to make sure it has the lowest amount of total grams of sugar and is lowest on the list of the ingredients. At least fourth. The lower, the better. Go check out those labels. Number four, shop Whole Foods at any grocery store. The easiest way to shop Whole Foods, which is what your gut really wants, is to shop on the outside rim of the grocery store. This is where you find your meats, your fruits, and your vegetables. The middle aisles is where you find your processed foods with added sugars. Shopping this way can significantly reduce your processed food intake. So next time you're at the grocery store, I want you to imagine the middle aisles are off base, and your job is to stay on base on the outer rim. Now go. <laughs> Number five, got kombucha? The kombucha craze is all about probiotics. Why probiotics? 
You know those times you're sitting on your couch and you don't want to go anywhere and you think about that cookie and you're willing to get in your car and go drive to go get it? Yep, that might be a gut bug problem. You might want to consider a probiotic. You don't have a problem with willpower, you might have a gut bug problem. Yes, we have gut bugs that coexist in our digestive system called our microbiome. When this gets out of balance, Houston, we have a problem. Having a good balanced microbiome helps the body with many health issues like inflammation, heart health, and digestion. Eating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kombucha, kimchi, kavita water, all of these can help balance our gut bugs. What a lot of people don't know is that adding these foods can significantly help our gut balance. Now, I have, you have the power to make a difference in your health. I have given you five simple things you can do to help optimize your gut health. Now go out there and make me proud. You got this. Thank you.